New memory card, who dis? I can't believe that I had to buy a whole new memory card because I lost, can you see, the little, the little gray piece on the memory card. Yo, you can't see it. The little gray piece right here that, that tells it that it can write. I, like, I dropped the memory card and it popped off and I can't find it. So, hi, welcome to a reading vlog. I'm in the middle of a couple of readathons right now. Um, I am working on The Lux by Anna Godberson. This is left over from my 2021 mid-year reading scramble readathon that I did for the weekend since it was a three-day weekend. Um, maybe we'll try this again another time when I don't have as much to do. Um, I'm also working on Witch Shadow by Susan Dennard. This is going to fulfill a prompt on my, um, on Chala's board for the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge. It's going to fulfill a prompt for the Full Metal, the Full Metal Challenge as well. Um, and I, does it, does it fill, no, it doesn't fulfill a prompt for any of the other things. So I'm hoping this is my audiobook. This is my physical read. I'm hoping that I can like get through this over the next couple of days and move on to some of my books for like the middle grade magic. I think the next book that I was supposed to be doing is The Magical Imperfect by Chris Barron. I really want to get to this and like read it. It is a book told in a verse. So I am excited. I'm really excited because it's got a main character that has eczema, like severe eczema, like the kind that I grew up with um, and had until I was in my mid 20s. And I finally like just gave in to adapting my diet. So anyways, that's the beginning of this. Uh, we will talk more, but I have a package. I don't remember, I don't know what this, it might be a book. It feels like it's probably a book. I don't remember. I thought I'd already gotten everything that I, well, most of everything that I ordered. What is it? It doesn't have a return address on it, but it's got my address. I may, Maybe I'm making a, a grave mistake right now. Oh, wow, that came so fast. Oh, because they were shipped, oh my gosh, they were shipping from Florida. Let me just open this up and I'll show you what I got. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you will know that one of my absolute favorite books is Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. Um, I, ooh, this is, has a weird feel to the, the cover in places. This is actually part of a trilogy, the Land of Ingery trilogy. So you have Howl's Moving Castle, you have Castle in the Air, and you also have a House of Many Ways. Um, from what I understand, these all follow different characters, but they still are in the same world as Howl's Moving Castle. So I am, or like the kind of the same kind of concept, like characters pop up in, in these books from what I understand. So I am going to be rereading them, but I wanted a copy of Howl's Moving Castle. <gasps> it has illustrations. Oh my God. My book doesn't have illustrations. I figured I want to eventually read the entire trilogy so I would get the entire trilogy and I found this on eBay for a pretty decent price so I got them and they're brand new and they have illustrations I'm gonna I have I have things I need to do today so I'm gonna keep keep moving but like ah, I'm so excited that I got those I'm back like five minutes later because today just I guess has been the day for how do I get this open my goodness for things being delivered to my house. They really wanted this to be safe. Okay, I know exactly what this is. I'm so excited. We're gonna try and do this without stabbing myself, but also without proper tools. Because that's who I am as a person. This out. <laughs> so thank you to Brianna for turning me on to these. Um, I don't have any books to put them on yet because I didn't know about them until last week. But they are Percy Jackson covers by Nerdy Inc. So here is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. I'm going to do some B-roll so you can get like a close-up of these. Um, and I'll just leave a, leave a minute. And once I have books, I will show these to you. Uh, we also have Percy Jackson and the Sea of or 
Percy Jackson, The Sea of Monsters. I guess I should probably like, it's, it's Percy Jackson and the Olympians, if we're gonna be technical. I swear to God, every time someone says Percy Jackson and, did I just do that? Did I just do the thing that makes me want to like, throw myself off a cliff? So cute, look at my son. Okay, so I love this. Um, I love that we have Annabeth on some covers. Like, we've got Annabeth and Percy and Grover on the Sea of Monsters. Oh, no, it's Annabeth, Percy, and Clarice on the Sea of Monsters cover. Mm. Um, and then we have, oh, my God! <gasps> we have the Titans curse with Annabeth holding up the, the world, the sky, whatever it is Atlas holds up. And it's purple. <sighs> oh, my God. And it's got the D'Angelo twin not twins, the kids, oh, and Annabeth's hat. Oh my god, the details on these. <laughs> okay, and then we have the Battle of the Labyrinth, which is, like, kind of funnily enough, really close to the original cover, but then we also have, like, this little bit with Percy and Annabeth, like, running in the background. Absolutely, when are you doing the Heroes of Olympus, please? And the final one, the last Olympian. Once again, we have my main, my main children, Percy and Annabeth, and then I think that's Luke. Yeah, that's Luke. Oh my gosh, these are, oh, and it has the prophecy on the back flap, oh my god. I, I just, I love these, and now I need to go find, like, I'm probably gonna go just find secondhand copies of all of these, um, because... I don't see any reason to buy a whole new set for these covers. If I can find some, like, decently, um, some decent, 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 and, like, you go to the used bookstore and there are, like, new copies of stuff everywhere. So I'll just go and find me some of those. I actually, I actually do have an extra copy of the Sea of Monsters I could use, but I think I've torn bits of that when I was trying to get the cover off. So I don't think I can get the cover off of that one. Um, because it was, it was originally a library book, so I may look into it. It may have already been donated because I gave it to my mother to donate. Hello! Um, it is Saturday morning-ish. Like, I think, I think it's almost Saturday afternoon at this point. I think it's like 10 o'clock. It is 10.43. <laughs> I was woken up this morning by a notification from my bank that my account had reached zero dollars. I really, I really need to, like, quit my <laughs> snarky tea subscription. Like, I don't know how to do it, but I gotta figure out how to do, how, how to make this work. Anyways, so it's Saturday morning. Um, I have the house to myself. It's wonderful. My parents are gone for two weeks. I love it. I have the run of the house this morning, and so I want to get some housework done, because the kitchen does, I have neglected the kitchen a little bit, since there's no one, like, there's no overlord making sure that I do my dishes the minute I use them. Um, so... <laughs> I am going to go work in the kitchen for a little bit, but first I need to take my bullet journal and I'm going to plan out how I want to do today because I want to get some planning done. I want to get some stuff ready for Veda. Look at how pretty it is. I love it. Um, anyways, I'm really happy with how the spreads turned out for this particular month. We even got some shiny stuff. I don't think there's anything too terribly I have not been keeping up with that at all wow anyways so long story short I am going to sit down and I am going to figure out what I need to be doing today which is Saturday um, I've got some stuff I need to get set up for Volticon and I've got some stuff I want to get done around the house I need to continue with making sure I post to my Instagram although I don't need to post to that till like 6 p.m. according to uh, my Instagram analytics so we're gonna we're gonna see I prefer to post like 8 a.m. and let it go the whole day but Instagram is saying that if I post at 6 that's when the most people are on so we'll see if that works. Still reading the Lux. I'm still reading Truth Witch. I have not made any headway in either of those books. However, Volticon starts on Monday so they both need to be finished by the end of the weekend. I at least need Truth Witch mostly finished so I can see if um, any of the books that I have for my Volticon TBR can be listened to as audiobooks. I should really check into that. I mean, I know The Sound of Stars can be, but it's a group book, and I try not to listen to group books 
especially when I'm the one like re leading the discussion. I may run out and get the, the normal sized hardcover of The Sound of Stars because like the book of the month version is cute, but I'm not a huge fan of it because it's so big. We'll see, we'll see. I just, maybe I'm just looking for an excuse to go to the bookstore. Let's see if it'll do it. Hold on, give it a minute. I'm in my car in case you couldn't tell. I'm gonna lock the door because I'm sitting still, although I'm in my neighborhood, so I don't know. Do you hear that? I finally get myself together enough to go do my errands. Um, and the sky's all dark. Well, it's not dark that way, but it's dark that way, which is where I'm going for errands. And I'm talking to the camera when I should be like hustling. Anyways, I'm just like, this is fine. It's fine. It's Florida. I deal with rain all the time. So anyways, I'm going to buckle up and I'm going to go, but like it's threatening to downpour. I have in fact brought my umbrella with me. There she is again. Like, we literally just had a thunderclap that, like, I can see why people would say, like, it's the gods bowling or it's the devil bowling because it literally sounded like when the bowling ball hits the pins in the alley. <laughs> Let's do a quick little haul and then we'll talk about books and then I'll get back to work. All right, we're back. It's, like, probably 7 in the evening. It is 7.17. I dropped by the library and picked up a couple of books that I am using that you probably, you have probably... Well, you've seen the TBR by this point that I'm using for my July TBR. Um, I got Who Fears Death by Nnedi Okorfor. Um, this is an African post-apocalyptic novel. There was magic involved. There are people hunting this woman. Um, it's going to get a lot into, like, just different conflicts between the villages that they have. Uh, she lives in the, in the desert, that kind of thing. Like, there's a lot in the synopsis, and sometimes those are a little bit weird, so... Like, they'll give stuff away. Um, I also got Hurricane Child by Case and Calendar. So this is about a girl that was born in the U.S. Virgin Islands. It's talking about the aftermath of a hurricane and also her kind of, like, exploring and figuring out her gender. This is for, well, this was for the middle grade, middle grade magic readathon. I will not be doing it while it is going on because I didn't, for some reason, I thought I had all month. I don't know why. I, I didn't realize that I had not all month but um so i will be reading like all of my picks for that not during that the month the, or the week that it happens um and then i as i mentioned went stopped by the bookstore and i got a normal sized copy of the sound of stars by alicia dow i'm i think i'm gonna get rid of my book of the month version because i'm just like like that's part of why i haven't signed back up for book of the month i don't like the size all that much like it's just I don't like it, especially if, like, you get the series, and, like, this is a standalone, but, like, if you get the author's other works, then they're not going to match, so I got this because I'm going to annotate it, and I wanted to, you know, have a nice copy for me to annotate that would be one I would be keeping, and then also because I was there and I wanted to, I got The People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I keep hearing about this all, I've, I've been hearing about this all week, people absolutely adoring it, so I figured I'd grab it and pick it up, and I would read it. Yeah, I don't have no idea what this is about. It's about two best friends and, like, a vacation that they take. They've been taking vacations and their friendship is falling apart or something. And I don't know. Let's talk about Lux by Anna Godberson. This, so, like, so far, from what I understand, I've never read Gossip Girl. Keep that in mind. I've only watched the show, um, the original show. So this is kind of reminding me, like, it's supposed to be an 1899 version of Gossip Girl. Um, and so, well, actually, no, it's not even that. Like, we've got this girl that she just doesn't want to marry this dude. And her best best friend who is a terrible, like, I don't know, I, I think he's kind of a terrible person, um, who is plotting to break her up with this dude, uh, which, I mean, is not going to be any, any sadness for her, but, like, it's an interesting plot, because she's in love with the, the groom, um, like, a groom, that's his profession, not, like, the, the bride's groom. She's in love with a groom, and she wants to marry him and run off out west. And so that's obviously what's going to end up happening. I am 99.99999% sure that she's going to fake her death. Um, and her sister and her best friend are probably, possibly going to help with that. Possibly also her fiancé are going to help with that. So she can escape out west and all of that good stuff. So, so far, it's been 
okay. Um, I've had a couple of questions, like, one question about, like, something that she was wearing, and I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not sure that we are in the appropriate time period. Like, for the most part, most of the clothing that they're describing is accurate. But she just described a specific neckline and, like, a dress. And I'm not sure that was even a thing until, like, the 1920s, 1930s. She's also mentioned that one of these characters wears mascara. And here's the thing. No one who was anyone wore actual makeup. Like, mascara didn't pick up until, I think, when I looked it up, it was, like, the 30s or the 40s. This woman, this high society young lady, or this lady that was try young lady who's trying to emulate high society. Uh, her family is, like, new money, so, like... Anyways, she would not be wearing any kind of makeup, like, at all. She just, she wouldn't. They didn't do that. I mean, like, they, they did, but they, like, it was really subtle. Um, and then Truth Witch is back there. No, it's not. Witch Shadow is back there. I'm back into it. I'm back into the story. Um, it's frustrating because it keeps breaking away at points where I'm invest I'll get invested in, like, one point of view and then it'll break away to the other point of view. Uh, we've got some really interesting stuff going on with Safi right now. And the one thing I will say about how this particular book is structured, like, it's starts you out a few months after the end of Blood Witch, which is a bit weird. Well, ac yeah, it starts you out a little bit after the end of Blood Witch. Everyone is like several months ahead, and you have no idea what is going on. I wish she had started, because what's happened is she starts in this point, and then she's giving us flashbacks to show us where we've gotten to this point. This is, this is like a huge break from how the story has been told from what I recall. So, like, I'm enjoying it. I really like it. I just, like, I wish instead of doing it this way, she had just taken us up to the point where this break happens. Like, that could have been, like, the, the part one of the book and then carried us through because I don't see any specific need for this to have, to, to be structured this way. Um, so, anyways, whatever. I'm gonna go edit tomorrow's video. Okay, hopefully you can see me okay because it is cloudy af outside let us wrap up this reading vlog did we get much reading done no um i read a little bit of which shadow i am here and now it is being put down the things that happen when i find out that my ship's not going to interact at all in this book and to think this was my most anticipated release of the year i really like how susan dinner writes and her characters and her world building and i just wish we were doing a little better on the romance front right now. There is not enough kissing in this book. I am concerned. Very much so. It's fine. I'm just going to continue rereading those first, like, three pages of Blood Witch 59 or whatever it is every time I start missing the interactions. Because that's still my favorite moment from the series. There's nothing I love more than two idiots that think the other person is dead. Realizing that the other person is not dead. And then do we do anything with that? No! Long story short, I didn't finish this. I also did not finish Lux by Anna Godberson. I am somewhere in here at some, somewhere, somewhere in this book. Um, I'm not mad at it. Like, I'm enjoying it. It's just not like what I want to be reading right now. This is the problem. This is the problem. I, I have other things that I want to be reading right now, like the fifth book in this series. That, that makes no sense considering that I have not picked that up. I'm a mess. We'll have more thoughts on these when I actually finish them, um, and that won't be next week. I apologize, so you'll have to wait a minute before you find out what I felt about how I feel about these books. If you are feeling chatty, let me know your favorite reunion in a series or the book with like your favorite reunion in it because that's literally my favorite like if i can have one trope it's it's the one where they reunite after one of them or both of them thinks the other is dead this is this is why i love the titan's curse so much this is why i love battle of the labyrinth so much this is just Anyways, long story short, I'm a sucker for that trope. If you're not feeling chatty, leave me a fancy dress emoji, I guess, or the, the dancing lady in the red dress. I think it, the dancing person is in the red dress. Leave me that emoji for, for Lux. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. Also, there will be videos over here. If you liked this video, you may like some of these. And if you like those, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are new here, I would be very grateful. Thank you so much. That is it for now, my friends. Happy reading, and I will see you later when we will talk about more wordy, nerdy things. Bye!